I'm gonna make this goat move from here to over here. And then I'm gonna use the curve editor to change its uh, speed. And also to show you how to ease in and ease out. All right, let's get started. Uh, so first thing here I want to do now is I'm gonna select my uh, translate note right here. And then in here, I'm gonna right click and set a key. Here you can see I set a key at 1. So if I move my timeline all the way to 100 and move my goat from here to over here, it automatically keys. So if I hit play, it moves. Okay, let's stop here and rewind. So if I go to my curve editor over here, this is a uh, visual representation of the animation from 1 to 100. So if I select this key, do that, you see 100, and move it, and if I 95, 80, 79, that's the frame it's going to stop at. But what you also can notice, I cannot go up and down. The first direction where you move your mouse, that is the way the uh, animation will move. So go over here to 50. And now you can see it starts at 1 and ends at 50. So hit play. It stops at 50. Okay. Now, if I wanted to start the animation in a different place, maybe you start at 20. Doing that, and I just select all of my keys and move. You can see the blue is moving, and now it starts at 20 and ends at 70. It should start at 20. And it starts at 70. Now, if I stop it, <coughs> and let's move this back to 1, and move this to 100, do that, so maybe go in here, let me grab this one, I'm trying to grab this handle, so now, comes, it should slow down to 100, and then maybe grab going down command or control. It's going to speed up, but it's going to slow down. Now, if I hit rewind, hit play, see it slows down, and do that. So, I mean, do mean it speeds up, and then it slows down. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is, I want to animate the goat jumping. Do that. There's nothing like having a good old goat jump. Goats are very happy when they jump. So I'm just going to do these. Do that. And in order to make a jump, I have to go back to my note editor and then right click, add a key here. But before I do that, I'm going to rewind. There we go. Now, set key. And now, if I go back to my curve editor, and if I move here to key, so maybe he would jump at 20. Wait, let's let go back and jump at 10. I don't know why, I like 10. Goes up. Oops, sorry. You can see it goes up. Do that. And it maybe at 15. It goes down again. You can see now the goat jumps. So we play, it jumps. Turn that, right? So, but let's have the goat jump on something that is meaningful or something that's purposeful to jump. So if I hit rewind, do that, and go back to my note editor. And do now, we play, oops, right here. Now, we hit play. <clears throat> I want this goat to jump over the fire. 
Okay, so I'll go back in here, rewind, and go to my curve at jerk. So, and come in right here. I want to have a jump like this, make a really high jump, and then put it right here, and go step. Make sure to clear it to feather. Oh, maybe catch it on the tail. Didn't play. Okay, jumps. Okay, that's how you make a. Uh